Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream, and today I'm going to change the oil on my truck. It's a beautiful day though. I've been riding on a daydream. Look at the skies. Now, I know that I definitely have an issue with temperature and liking it more warm than most. When a perfect day like today, the state issues a heat advisory. <laughs> so. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Sully, dude, I think you're right. I must be a freak. It's going to be 90 today, a little over 90, and the uh, dew points are going to be at 70. Uh, with the breeze, though, it's awesome. I mean, it's just perfect. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to mow the lawn today, at least in the backyard. But I do need to change oil and truck uh, for our trip, and I need to cut this membrane and put it up inside the uh, air conditioner vents. So in the camper, we... Uh, we stay filtered so I don't have to get up there and clean it again uh, whenever I redid the roof uh, Heidi and I and we reinstalled the air conditioner before we did that I had it on the lift table in here and I cleaned it really well and you'd be surprised how much buildup happens up in those vents so when I drop that shroud down I'll show you the area that you should be concerned with inside the camper and then of course outside the camper I'm not going to get up on the roof today and show you that uh, there's some other videos that show you how to take care of that but uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like up inside there and what you should take care of to some extent. As far as the oil change, I don't know where my stuff is. <laughs> I get an oil change special from uh, Heidi's work, and I want to talk about that real quick. All right, so I want to talk to you about uh, Heidi's work, which is Advanced Auto Parts. They have this thing called Speed Perks, and this doesn't really promote anything other than her company, I guess. But what I want to tell you about it is because it saves you money. Now, if you guys remember in one of my past videos, uh, not that long ago, I put a four core radiator in my truck and of course I purchased it at her work. Now they have this thing called Speed Perks and it's a promotion that they have that if you give them an email that's active, which they don't really send you anything or use your email, but if you give them an address that they can register into the computer, then what happens is they will email you uh, basically a bonus anytime you spend a certain dollar amount. You have to spend $30 and they will send you a speed perk that's good for $5 off your next $20 purchase. So spend 30, you get $5 off of $20. And it kind of promotes you going back to their store, obviously. The other thing that you can get, which is the next highest level, is if you spend over $100, you will get $20 off your next $50 purchase. So of course that radiator that I bought was over $100. So I got a $20 off my next $50 purchase. Well, I needed to do the oil change for the truck. In addition to the oil change special that they have, I went ahead and picked up an extra couple quarts of oil and octane booster, a can of octane booster. That way when we're on our trip, I can buy cheaper gas and I can put the octane boost in and raise that octane level up a few points so the truck isn't prone to pinging or anything like that whenever we're towing and instead of fifty three dollars it only cost me thirty some dollars which was really nice and of course these dollar amounts that you have to reach you know your fifty dollar purchase it has to be before tax now a lot of you probably say oh I can get my parts cheaper somewhere else well like Heidi's work they price match everything they price match whatever you bring them you bring them Walmart which Walmart's cheaper on a lot of stuff they price match it as long as you bring them something that's legit something that you could go somewhere else and buy uh, for a lower price they'll price match it so it's not like you're getting ripped off in any way and like in my case this oil change that I got uh, plus all that other stuff you know only cost me thirty dollars where just the oil change itself would have cost $32. Just something to think about. So now, let's get underneath that truck and do an oil change. Now you usually can buy this in a, a big jug like that down there. I want it in quarts because my vehicle only calls for five quarts total, which I'll be putting in four quarts of that. And uh, just one quart of this. Now these are full because I pick these up when they go on sale. And I'm going to be putting this one in for my truck and the reason that I'm going with that one rather than this pure synthetic I ran the pure synthetic in the truck and that's what's in there right now and I noticed that during startup uh, it has a tendency to clatter a little bit uh, very quietly very faintly you can barely hear it 
but you can hear it. So I'm going to run this instead because I think that that pure synthetic might be a little bit too much for it. So let's get this oil change done and then we'll pick it up inside the camper after I'm done and uh, probably a little bit dirtier and we'll show you what it looks like inside that air conditioner. So things definitely changed and I'm still going to show you what's inside the camper but what happened was I forgot that I needed to tighten some exhaust bolts that come off the headers and go down to the white pipe and I noticed that the bolts were just not in that good a shape so I had to have Heidi run me up to the local farm and fleet or tractor supply store and we bought some bolts came back I just got done you can see I'm kind of dirty <laughs> and of course the weather changed what do you think about that it's actually raining um, we've got some storms that are going to pop up and move in so that'll make it perfect timing for me to go inside the camper and show you what I want to show you as far as those air filters but right now um, if I touch those filters they're actually going to be dirtier <laughs> than they would if they were just being used to filter the air like they're supposed to so I'm going to go in take a shower real quick and then come back out and we'll finish out this video all right guys so we're back out the camper I went in and took a shower for no apparent reason it's raining like crazy outside which we need um, but the wind's also blowing pretty hard too, so we're out here in the camper to do this air conditioner repair. I'm going to pull down this vent and we're going to cut that membrane, which I'll show you here, and we'll make it fit so when the air is being sucked back up into the air conditioner, it actually has filtration built in that will stop a lot of the dust because that last campground we went to was really dusty so I know that the air conditioner got a little bit dirty now I'm going to show you what it looks like up inside the air conditioner and what you should be concerned with it's really hard to see and kind of hard to get to but it's something that you should keep clean um, you might have to remove your entire air conditioner uh, at least the shroud and everything to get to this any other way but you can work at it from inside and get it clean possibly with a vacuum cleaner with an attachment but we'll get to that whenever we get a little bit closer to having this filter in place so first thing we're going to do is take this cover off of course Heidi's out here to help me today and hopefully uh, we don't get blown away or struck by lightning as we do this okay so this is what the shroud looks like once it's off you basically just pull the knobs off that are for the controls and then it's just two screws that hold the shroud up not a lot it doesn't take a lot this thing doesn't weigh very much and of course uh, Heidi's doing her best cleaning it because it was really dusty from us not having the filters and being in that dusty campground now I'll show you where the air comes in because this is where the air exits it comes down it hits this black area and then goes out in either direction uh, through the vents and then it comes back through these holes or through these vents the two areas are blocked off from each other and that's how they're blocked off now in the past I've done a video that I talked about how important it was to keep this area here separated from this area here because if not you'd be blowing cold air into the cold air intake and on the other side um, where the let me try to get a light up in here the other sides where the temperature probe is and if that temperature probe is sensing cold air it's going to turn off your air conditioner sooner so this is uh, something that I discussed again in a previous video I'll show a link here or a card to show you what I was talking about the thing that you need to be concerned with if you're trying to clean this from the inside is you have to loosen these bolts here and that's what holds the air conditioner to the roof you can see mine's a little bit loose so I'm gonna to have to tighten it down once these are loose and there's four of them you can see here once those are loose you can drop down this panel here this panel will come down and it will also be sticky because of all of this here again I covered that in the previous video how important it was to keep this sealed but once this comes down and yours may have a flexible joint inside where this one's hard once this comes down you can then access that up in there and again I know it's hard to see but you're wanting to get to the front side of the air conditioner once this panel is down is clean this side of your air conditioning and it's a condenser you can do that with a shop vac or with a vacuum with an extension wand but you can also do it with a brush and you'll put something on the floor to catch whatever may be up there now I know ours is clean so I'm not going to take all this down just to show you that unfortunately because of this here so we're going to go ahead and uh, snug this up and cut those pieces there to length so they fit in the shroud. 
and we'll get this thing back together. We cut these things real close to the size they need and they don't have to be exact as long as they trap most of the crap that's going up inside your air conditioner. And we just run pipe cleaners like Heidi is up over top and through the other side and then she's just giving them a twist. Now you're going to be able to see the pipe cleaners on the air conditioner shroud on the outside but who cares? I don't really care. <laughs> Do you care? <laughs> as long as it keeps everything clean up inside that air conditioner that's all we're concerned about. Here's what it looks like from the underside and again you got some pipe cleaners hanging down is that a big deal? Not to us. All we're going to do now is put this back up and make sure that whenever it goes up there that the filters don't overlap the seam. But uh, quite honestly, if it does, it doesn't make a difference as long as it seals off there. Uh, all right, so as Vanna White Heidi says, uh, it's all finished. And you see what it looks like. I'm glad that we did this. It's been needing done for a while. And I'll make it to where I don't have to clean that part that I told you about that's up inside as often as we had in the past which has so far only been one time but it could be worse so we're all set here the oil change is done on the truck the exhaust bolts are tightened up on the truck so I'm good underneath uh, check the oil level in a couple days just to make sure it's okay uh, especially seeing how we're getting ready to do the trip in a few days and uh, now we just gotta wait for those ball joints to come in tomorrow they're supposed to come in on Wednesday all the ball joints are coming in tomorrow and the sway bar bushing so I'm going to be busting my ass tomorrow if it's nice, but if it's continued to be like this, then maybe not. We'll have to see. But as for right now, we're done. And I hope to see you out there. Bye. Bye. Anytime you spend a certain dollar amount. So basically, you have to spend... Let's get underneath that truck and do an oil change. So now let's go into that truck. Now, so I'm going to go do the oil change on the truck. That's not bad. What's wrong? Maybe I didn't push the button. Now, I don't expect you to really be able to see this that well, but... Wow, actually you can't see it at all. How sad is that? I mean, not at all. Oh, look at that. I'm glad I... Look at Our air conditioner's loose. Is it? Yeah, that bolt right there. Ooh, you need to tighten it. Say that one's loose. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll have to tighten it. Here, shine this... Do me a favor, shine this light from this side. That was very close. Shine your light from this side. <laughs> So as Vanna White Heidi says, uh, it's all finished.